Hey, it's Wabbit. Good to be back with you. I do hope this finds you well. Uh, here's a little confession. I don't script uh, these talking videos. I have this idea in my head, and it may not be uh, executed and said the right way. I, I do hope that you, you kind of don't go in the weeds and, and, and the message comes across. Because I think for those who, I know I'm going to focus on the music space, but I think you probably can use this in any kind of creative hobby. Um, sometimes we tend to get into the weeds, we get stuck, we get writer's block, music block, whatever you want to lump all those things into. And I want to just throw something out there. I'm not the first person that has suggested this. I won't be the last person. However, the noise of social media, I think it's important to have these kind of talks. Uh, no, this is not a TED Talk uh, or a Wabbit Talk, but just to have these reminders. I, I've made this statement before that we're not computers, we're human, and our brain needs to hear these from time to time. So again, I'm not dropping anything that's brand new. You've heard of this before. All right, so I've had a couple of, I'm going to use the term, and it may not be a, a word, uh, epiphanonic moments that have happened over the past couple of days. And, and to be honest with you, how and why and all those things really are relevant. I'm just sharing the story. And I'll get to why this cheese pizza thing is what I'm talking about. Again, I, I've got this idea. It's, just try, <laughs> it's trying to get it out there. And I, I look, I, I know I could sit down and write stuff out, but again, this is a hobby space. Why do I need to, this is not work. I don't need to, to do that. So that's my, that's my logic. So Basically, the, the moments have been watching others and realizing that I don't need to throw the kitchen sink. I don't need to – I'm going to go into the analogy department here. I don't need to go into the spice rack and pull all the spices out when I'm cooking. Now, <laughs> and, I, and I say that with all due respect because there are people who know how to cook, and I just wanted to throw that out there because that's kind of what the kids say. But I don't need to do that, and I've been trying to do that. And a couple things that I've observed in trying to put everything out there and make things work, connect things, is I've wasted so much time, and I've had more frustration than, in this particular case, any music. And the concept of less is more, again, we've, we've all heard it. It's it's what three words. It's nothing sexy. It doesn't, you know. It's it's not a thumbnail. It's not part of the embargo day drops. It's it's nothing exciting. But when you think about sometimes a cheese pizza is all you want. So let's talk about that for a minute. Think about a cheese pizza. What are the ingredients? Three basic things dough, sauce, and cheese. That's it. Now, you could even throw some pepper on there, maybe a little oregano, but at its core. And again, we can get into, and, and this is another thing where we start getting into the weeds in terms of, well, what kind of cheese and what sauce, and, and let's just put all that aside for a minute. Let's stay out of the weeds. Very basic. Sometimes when I go into a shop and I'm looking at the slices of pizza and I see all the things on there, the different toppings, oh, that looks great. And then I see the cheese pizza. For some reason, I don't know what it is, and again, it doesn't really matter. Perhaps I haven't had a pizza in a while. This happened the other day. We're at some place, and they were doing wood fire pizza. In the town that I live in, I prefer not to go to the – I'm not going to mention the names of some typical pizza joints, but I'm not going to go there. I, my palate has been refined in my old age, and this spot we went to, they basically had five options. And at the very top was just cheese pizza. I'm looking at the other options, and you know, two has potato something, another one has pepperoni, another one has uh, – I, I can't remember all the other things. Now, it's been a while since I had pizza, but I thought, you know what? A cheese pizza sounds perfect. It's nothing fancy. 
yes, I had to wait a little bit. Again, it was fairly busy kind of a thing. And it was good. Now, what the crust was, was it deep dish, was it thin? Again, that's where we start getting into the weeds of things. It was simple. I didn't need to have all the other stuff. And I, and I think about even just making my own. When we were kids, we made pizza, and, and we put a lot of stuff on there, and it was good. But sometimes, and we always made, let me correct that, we always made also a cheese pizza. And sometimes that was, it just tasted good. Now, there's nothing wrong with having other toppings. This is not saying, hey, if you eat pizza, you must only have cheese pizza all the time. That's not what this is saying. Let's get back into the whole music scene. And, and here is a slice of cheese pizza that I want to share with you here. Now, I know at first you're like, <laughs> what, what are you saying? That's not cheese pizza. It's a circuit tracks. Well, yeah, at the surface because that's what your eyes and your brain associate it with. But let's stick with this concept here. So in the past, I would, and I, I can't remember how I bought this device. I, it was, I was at a point where I just didn't know a lot of stuff. It was like, oh, it looks cool, and I bought it. And, and I bought it used, so that's my justification for it. But I was at a point where I didn't really know what I was wanting to do, and I was trying to put this with other things. I was trying to add things to it. And I wasn't looking at it from just a very basic standpoint of less is more. I, I didn't just sit and play with a device on its own. Now, now, yes, if you start getting into the weeds, this thing can be very deep and, and all that stuff, but I was looking at it the wrong way, and, and I got to the point where I was saying, you know what, this thing has limitations. I can't do this. So, for example, I'll, I'll dig into the weeds a little bit. You can't do audio over USB with this device, only MIDI. And I was looking at that as a major limitation. I got other devices that can do that. What's wrong with this thing? I personally have no issues with the battery in there. Again, but we're, so let's get out of the weeds. So during these epiphanotic moments, I actually happened to see a video where someone who was using this device, and that was it. Now, yes, they had a recorder because they were doing a YouTube video, so they had to share it with you. But on its own, I just need a pair of headphones and that's it. That, you know, my hands, headphones, and this device. Three basic ingredients, or maybe we could say just some inspiration, whatever it is. That's it. I'm not even looking at all the things you can do with this. And they basically picked a beat, did a little melody, did a little riff, turned some knobs, and it sounded good. It was a slice of cheese pizza. There was nothing else fancy. Again, maybe the knobs were some oregano, pepper, and salt. Fine, fair enough. But that was it. And it was what I needed to see that less is more. And a device that at one point I was ready to sell because I thought it had limitations. I am now looking at it in that less is more. And I don't have to connect this to every other piece of gear. I don't have to make this work with the iPad. I don't have to use it with my Oxy One. I can just play with it on its own and enjoy the slice of pizza because it's tasty. It's simple. And it's good. Now, if I get bored and I want to maybe add one piece of gear to it, cool. And I, I think that is also... The other important takeaway is not saying you only have to use one piece of gear. That's why I like the cheese pizza. There's three main ingredients, so why not you can have, let's just say, three items. I see this a lot. People will put a launch pad out, get a synthesizer, and maybe something else. It could be their computer. It could be a DAW. It could be another piece of gear. It could be an NPC and just jam. Now, on the surface, to those of us who like to live in the weeds, and it's boring, it needs more, it needs that, does it? And we're not getting into what the output is, and, and is it a banger, is it fire? It's art. It's tapping into the creative space. It's simple. It's less is more. And the other thing is, I think it 
is something that is immediacy. What I mean by that is I'm getting some output of what I'm here for. Think about the pizza. If you spend all your time in the weeds talking about the cheese and the dough and what type of sauce and how it should be cooked, and then nothing happens. It just sits there. Or I think about those who, when I watch composing songs, and you got to add this reverb, you got to add that, you got to you got to keep going, and you, and you hear this time. How do you know when it's done? When is it? Is it? Is it good? And and you think about if you leave the pizza in the oven too long, it burns. And perhaps if you keep adding stuff to a song, you just burn it. Maybe not literally. And I think if we just perhaps keep things very simple, there can be a lot of pleasure in the solo art of just using one or two, maybe three pieces of gear, keeping it very simple. I did a video recently with the TR Success. That was another device that was on the chopping block to go. And I was, again, I'm looking at its limitations. I can't put it with the iPad. If I do, I got to do this and that. I've got another device that the TR-8S, I was using the redundancy argument. Now, I'm be honest with you, I look at Reaver and the prices are, are low, so let's be realistic. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get any return of investment, not that we ever do. I'll be honest with you on that one. But then, again, this whole thing was happening, and I'm like, wait a minute. So what if I have to use a mixer, kind of like a middle person, to connect the iPad and the TR success? Let's just mess around. So, again, three ingredients, the iPad, the TR Success, and a mixer, the Rodecaster Pro 2, in case you're wondering. There's always that one person, what are you using? What, what, what was the piece? <laughs> and I basically went in it with no expectations. I played a little jam. I pulled up an application called Flus. I recorded something off the TR, TR Success. And then I just pick something very basic and had fun. Did a little granularization, and it was simple. Was it a banger? Was it a masterpiece? Absolutely not. That's not what it's about. For, for some, it is. I think back to the time as a kid growing up listening to music. I didn't know what was what it was just my ears were moving me and then listening to the sounds and then as I grow older you start watching these behind the scenes stories and you're like wow they didn't use a lot of stuff I'm not a musician you heard me say that time and time again I don't know music theory but I know there are 12 notes or excuse me eight notes whatever it is you 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 know what it is my point is there's only so many things yeah there's eight notes <laughs> there's only so many things you can do I'm going to get into a, a territory that I think is for a whole other conversation, and I think that is one of the downfalls of us being nerdy, geeky, tech, what are you going to call it, where we spend so much time in the weeds and we're so consumed with the specs and the details and the connections and the cabling and making this work. The time that I've spent here in the huts trying to make things connect and work and then also going about it in a budgetary standpoint, I know that may be a little hard to understand when you look at some of the gear that I have. Like, seriously, you're saying that word, and you've got a oxy instrument, and that thing is, again, that's the easy way to look at it. But the time that I spent on that, I'll never get back. There is no music that is made when you spend your time trying to make things work. It leads to frustration. It leads to saying, nope, this gear is horrible. Time to put it on reverb. And I'm glad that I saw someone who has a very small channel just using this circuit tracks and reminding me, even though they didn't say it. Their music said, Wabbit. 
less is more. So the next time you are out, a little hungry, and you see a couple options there in front of you, although the pizza with all the toppings may look enticing, try the cheese pizza. See what you think. In other words, if you find yourself in your studio, you find yourself in whatever it is that you call and you're stuck, you're frustrated, just go for the cheese pizza and have some fun. If you're still here, thank you for your time. I really, really, really hope something resonated with you because something resonated with me and it got me to looking at my gear in a different way. And I can now just look at each piece individually and not the entire collective and be frustrated. And for the first time in my short time in this space, I feel excited. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Get out there and have as much fun as humanly possible. And I do hope to catch you in another video. And until then, take care.